Well, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Pickens of Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you, amen, for listening and joining us this evening for prayer. Thank you. Tonight's scriptures will be coming from the books of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 through 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 12, which says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, blessed Lord. We thank you, gracious God, for this uh, beautiful day, Heavenly Father, that you have bestowed upon us, that you blessed us, Lord, to make it through. But Heavenly Father, there are many that did not make it home today from work. There are many that lost their loved ones today on the way to and from work. Uh, but you saw fit for Heavenly Father to cover us all today, uh, to cover us all and to protect us all from hurt, harm, and danger, both the seen and the unseen. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for every breath that you have given us this day. Uh, for we want to thank you, Lord, and praise you for being our God, uh, the true and living God. For holy is thy name, and blessed be your holy name today, Heavenly Father. So please, Lord, please accept the first fruits, Lord, of our intercession, Lord, this day. Uh, for you are the Lord, our God. You are our creator. You are the maker of everything, Lord, that has ever been, uh, that is, and ever will be. Uh, for there is no one like you, Heavenly Father. But Father God, you have made all that is in heaven and all that is on earth. Uh, for you are all that was, all that is, and all that is to come. For Heavenly Father, you make all things new. Uh, for that you are the way, the truth, and the light, Heavenly Father. And that you, uh, only you, Heavenly Father, can make all things new. And we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for being a man, the one who separated not only the light from the darkness and the firmaments and the firmaments of the earth and the heavens, but you separated the light from the darkness in our hearts, Heavenly Father. You separate the firmaments and the firmaments in our, in our hearts, Lord, the depression and anxiety, Lord, and despair. You, you separated those things on the inside of our spirits, uh, things that we cannot even comprehend, Lord, but you have delivered us. Heavenly Father, you delivered us from the strongholds, Lord, of the depressions in our spirits, Lord, for the constant or wanting of the things of this earth, Lord. You are constantly delivering us in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for being our most high God, for, because, Lord, how excellent is your name, the name which is above every, every name, the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today for being our God for being our Lord and our Savior, Lord. For you are Yahweh, and you are Alpha, and you are Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. You are the endless one. You are the omnis omniscient, and you are the omnipotent. And only your kingdom, Heavenly Father, and only your kingdom shall reign forevermore. And so we want to thank you, Lord, Heavenly Father, for you. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for being your people, Father, for being brought in into your family, uh, for you adopting us, Heavenly Father, spiritually adopting us, Lord, into your seat, Lord, of your heavenly counsel. For you have heard all of our cries, Lord. You have heard our prayers and our supplications. And we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering us, all of us, Lord, from our enemies. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for delivering us, from delivering us, Lord, from the bondage of slavery. And Lord, let us learn from our past ways. Let us learn, Heavenly Father, that slavery is representative of sin. Uh, and let us always remember, Lord, let us always remember that although mankind is born into this world into sin, Heavenly Father, we can and must be born again. Uh, we must be born again, Heavenly Father, born of the spirit and not of the flesh. Because it is you, Lord Jesus, that has set all the captives free. And who the Son sets free is free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. So Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your anointing. We thank you for your anointing, Lord, uh, your warm oil uh, that you pour from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet. And we want to thank you, Lord, for anointing us, anointing us and your sons and daughters, Lord, to carry out, Lord, the will that you have poured into all of us, Lord. And let us carry out the will that you have over our lives, Lord, not to live our own will, Lord, not to be living our own truth, uh, but to do as you have instructed us to do. 
Heavenly Father, because the things of this world are passing. Uh, the things of this world are passing away, Heavenly Father. And uh, you have created us to be here in the world, but not to be of the world. Bless your holy name today. So, Lord Jesus, this morning, we want to ask for forgiveness, Lord God. We want to ask for forgiveness, Lord, of all of our sins, Lord. Any, any and all places where we have sinned, Lord, in our body, mind, and spirit, Lord, we want to pour these things out to you, and we want to repent this morning. Uh, we want to repent this morning of any and all foul things we have done, any and all foul things that we have said, anywhere where we have cursed folks out with our lips or curse folks out with our actions or our, or our non-inaction of your word, Lord. We want to ask for forgiveness, Lord, of, of every ineptitude that we have in our life where we have not stepped up into the plates. Lord God, we ask for forgiveness today, Heavenly Father, for any time we are casting stones at our brothers and sisters for any reason whatsoever, Lord. We want to rebuke today and repent today for any racism that is among us, Lord, any levels of prejudice whatsoever, Lord, any levels of genderism where we believe men or women or children are superior to one another. We want to lay all that down today at your throne in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Let, uh, let not the things of the world, Heavenly Father, come between our relationship, Lord, for there is no relationship, Lord Jesus, that is more precious than our relationship with you. For there is nothing down here on this earth, Heavenly Father, that will save our life. Uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, what man can grow one centimeter low, one cubic centimeter on their stature by worrying about it. Lord, for all are in the hands of the Father. And we want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for delivering us, Lord. We want to thank you today for saving us from our sins, Lord. We want to thank you for saving us from ourselves, Lord. Uh, for we ask you this morning, Lord, to wipe us clean, clean of the lust of the eyes, clean of the lust of the flesh, and of the pride of life. Heavenly Father, for every man believes he is right in his own eyes, but it is only you, Heavenly Father, that searches the heart, and it is you, Lord, that will test the mind and will pay every man according to what he or she has done. So, Lord, help us today decrease uh, so that you can increase, Lord. So help us to decrease and so that you can increase, Lord. Let us not focus on our, our own clout, so focusing only on our own resumes and our own titles and our own statuses and things, the, the things of the world out here that continuously divide, Lord. Let us be on one accord, Lord. Let us be uh, gathered together for your words as we're two or three or more gathered together in your name, there you will be also. So we pray today, Lord, a spirit of humbleness to befall us all. We pray today, Lord, for a spirit, uh, a man of meanness, Lord God, for your word says that those that humble themselves shall be exalted, and those that exalt themselves, Lord, shall be humbled. Uh, so let us be, Heavenly Father, humbling and submitting ourselves to your throne, uh, to your ways, Heavenly Father, and your wonders. Bless your holy name today. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray today, Heavenly Father, over the entire congregation, the entire uh, body of Christ all around the world, wherever they are, Lord God, we pray today uh, that your Holy Spirit descend upon them this day. We pray that your Holy Spirit descend upon them this very night, Lord God. Descend upon us all, Heavenly Father, to strengthen us all, to do your will, to, to bless us with the courage, to grant us the courage where we did not have the courage before. Uh, let your Holy Spirit, Lord, grant us the knowledge where we did not have the knowledge before, the, the intellectual capability. Uh, let the Spirit of the Lord come upon us all, Lord, to preach, to teach, to live your word, uh, to be, amen, the, the examples, amen, the disciples, amen, the apostles, Lord, that you called us to be, Lord. Let us uh, go forward, Lord, into this land, Heavenly Father, in boldness, Lord, in strength, teaching and living in the name of the Lord, Lord, not letting the people of this world drag us down with the wants and the needs of the world. For this world, again, is passing, Heavenly Father. Uh, you said this world is passing, uh, and that our minds should be laid up, for storing up treasures in heaven where things, where the moths and the destruction, Lord, do not come and rot and take those things away from us. But the more we are focusing on the things of the earth, that's the more depression, uh, it's the more ego, egotisticalness, Lord, it's the more things, Lord, the despair and the strife and the jealousy and the envy uh, that continues to eat away at our spirits, Lord. Why? Because we have not prayed, Lord, we have not asked for the things that we need, Lord. Instead, we want to continue to be jealous of one another. We want to continue to be jealous, Heavenly Father, of our brothers and sisters, where they have been blessed, Lord. Well, let us cast those things out in the name of Jesus today, Lord. Let us uh, bring in, Lord, positivity in our lives, Heavenly Father. Let us bring the inspiration of Jesus Christ into our lives, Heavenly Father. Let us uh, not sim simply focus on what we do not have, uh, but let us tonight, Lord, thank you for what we do have. Thank you for the family members. 
Thank you for the friends. Thank you for the acquaintances. Thank you for the heavenly, godly associations, Lord, that you're putting in our path today. And we want to pray today, Heavenly Father, for discernment. Lord, help us, Lord, discern, Heavenly Father, good from evil. Let us discern, Lord God, right from wrong. Lord, let us discern the right way from the wrong way. Because it is you, Heavenly Father, that is our God. It is you, Lord God, that is our conscience. So we want to thank you today, Lord, for your revelation and your inspiration in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we give you today total praise. We want to give you total praise, Lord God, for uh, bestowing, Lord, a name that we can call upon, a name that is above every name, the name, amen, of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you this day, Lord, and give you uh, a praise, Lord, for keeping us all safe today, Lord. For there are many events happening worldwide, Lord, uh, many weather inclement events, Lord, Many unforeseen tragedies and disasters that are befalling the people, Lord. We thank you for protecting us from hurricanes, Lord, from earthquakes, Lord, from pandemics, pestilence, and disease in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you today as we pray. Send up our prayers, Heavenly Father, for our terminally ill. We pray, Lord, and we want to lift up to you, Lord, our sick and our shut-in, Lord. Today, uh, we call out, Heavenly Father, those who are sick. Lord, all of our family members and friends, Lord, for you know all of their names. And we pray for every single one of them across this world tonight, Lord. We want to pray for them. We want to pray for their families. We want to pray for those who are taking care of them, who have sacrificed and given up careers, uh, given up relationships and marriages and everything else, Lord, to care for those whom you have placed under their comfort. So we want to play, pray for them, Lord. We want to pray for them. We want to pray for them, Lord, and the resources that they need. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they have all the physicians and nurses staff that they need, Lord, to deal with whatever sickness and disease, uh, what is taking place. Because everything on this physical side, Lord, is representative of things happening in the spiritual side. So every disease, Lord, every stronghold that we are facing on this physical side is representative of the war uh, that is on the unseen. So we thank you today, Lord, for the victory. We thank you today, Lord, for the, the heavenly hosts, Lord Jesus, that are fighting on our behalf that you have dispatched uh, over the region, Lord God. We want to thank you for your heavenly angels, Lord, who are fighting on our behalf. We want to thank you, Lord, for any and all aid uh, that you have sent to our aid, to our to our bedside today. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing those uh, who have been diagnosed with just a few moments to live, with just a few weeks to live. We pray that however long, Lord, you decree them to be here. We pray, Heavenly Father, for a spirit of peace. Uh, we pray today, Lord, for a period of uh, spirit of restoration in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. So we want to thank you today. We want to thank you today, Lord God, uh, for being the Lord our God, because beside you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. Lord Jesus, we thank you today, Lord. We want to thank you today, Lord, for this occasion, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today as we pray for all of those who have lost ones, uh, those, Lord, who have lost loved ones, Lord, in our bereavement and mourning today, we want to pray strength for them. We want to pray healing for them, for those who have close, close family members, Lord, those who have lost close loved ones, Lord. We pray, Lord, that uh, we know that you and only you holds the keys to life and death in your hands, but none of these suddenly passings, Lord, was mysterious to you. For you know, Lord, everyone's appointed time, and we want to pray, Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, a peace and a restoration, Lord, for those who have fallen, Lord. Those who are no longer here with us, Lord, we want to thank you today for covering them, uh, covering their family members, Lord, covering all of their loved ones that are still here in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God, we pray for all of our brothers and sisters tonight, right now, those with special needs. We pray for the Heavenly Father, for those who are in the school system, or for those who are in mental health facilities, Wherever they are located, Lord God, we want to pray that all of our brothers and sisters with special needs, Lord, uh, are not overlooked, Heavenly Father, that we pray and we continue to keep them up before you. For many of them, Lord, cannot walk. Uh, many of them cannot talk, Lord. Many of them cannot use the restroom on their own without assistance. They cannot even feed themselves. So we want to pray protection against abuse in the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to pray, Lord, any and everyone that touches a finger, touches a hair on their head, Lord, they will continuously be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord God, we want to pray over all children. We want to pray over all children all around the world, Lord God, for they too are a very vulnerable group 
tonight, Lord, we want to pray, Lord, that they have discernment, uh, that they do not go anywhere, Heavenly Father, with their friends, uh, lest uh, their parents approve. And we want to pray tonight, Lord God, for safety and security for these children, Lord. We want to pray, Lord, that they have what they need, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, but Lord God, uh, we thank you today. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, uh, for feeding the poor. Lord God, we want to thank you for covering our poor and our homeless brothers and sisters, wherever they are, Lord. We thank you. Uh, amen. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus, uh, for joining them, Lord. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for protecting them, for blessing them, for what they need in the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray today uh, for the hunger all over the world, Lord. We pray that uh, the bellies, Lord God, that are crying out, amen, from the ground, those that are crying out for food to eat, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, that the flood and the famine, Lord, that has been across the land, Lord, that is, uh, has subsides, Lord, for, for the people, Lord, that you have deemed it necessary to, to subside for. Uh, for we pray, Lord, that your will be done. Bless your holy name today. Not us only be trying to hang on to our will. Bless your holy name today. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We want to thank you today, Lord God, for again being the Lord our God, because beside you, there is no other. And Lord God, we pray over all of the children tonight. We pray over all of the children and their respective, amen, uh, and their respective teachers and administrators. Lord, we want to pray the blood of Jesus over all of these schools in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and call out any foul abuse, any misuse and abuse of these children, Lord, will continuously to be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you, Lord God, for protecting us. We want to thank you, Lord God, for healing us, uh, because less, Heavenly Father, None of us would be here without you, Lord. None of us, Lord, can take the next step without you. So we want to pray today, Lord God, that you continue, amen, to protect, to cover these children. Uh, and that we, amen, protect the children. Lord, let us not do things like that are exposing them to danger. But Lord God, we want to pray against human trafficking. We want to pray against human trafficking. We want to pray against slavery in any and all forms it has in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for your word says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we pray tonight. We pray tonight, Lord, that you pull down these ungodly relationships, Lord, these ungodly soul ties in our life, Lord. We want to pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that uh, an old relationship that continues to rear its head is defeated tonight, Lord. An old yearning and desire for something, Heavenly Father, you do not want us to have that is going to harm us. We pray tonight that thing is ended in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, and that it is cut off, amen, and shut down in the name of Jesus Christ. For let this thing, let this enemy we see shall see no more. And if we see it coming in the distance, if we see her, if we see him, whatever it is, Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord God, that we are about our wits, Lord, our spiritual wits, and that we are understanding of what's happening around us. Uh, and therefore, we pray for your wisdom. Uh, Heavenly Father, we pray for the wisdom of God, uh, which comes from your mouth, Lord. We pray that that spirit of wisdom befall each and every single one of us tonight, uh, that we can make sound decisions in our lives regarding our relationships, uh, regarding our soul ties, Lord, regarding our business acquaintances, Lord. We want to pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you, Lord. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Uh, we want to thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. But Lord God, we know that we worship or, and we wrestle, Lord, uh, not a man with flesh and blood. But we pray tonight, Lord, that we are equipped for this spiritual fight that is happening in our lives, that is happening in our societies. We pray tonight, Heavenly Father, for supernatural protection, Lord. We pray for your supernatural armor, amen, the armor of God. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Lord, today uh, for the sword of the Spirit, Lord, which is the word of God. We want to thank you, Lord, today for the girdle of truth and the gospel of peace in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for your whole armament, Lord. Uh, for continuously, Lord, as we are on this battlefield, battling one day at a time, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today for the victory. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, today, Lord Jesus, for delivering us from our enemies, Lord, delivering us from bad relationships and recreating and opening new relationships. Uh, we thank you today for ending the ungodly soul ties, and we thank you for the initiation of godly soul ties in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Heavenly Father, we pray today, amen, against uh, the spirit of entitlement, Lord, for this land, Lord, is riddled, this world is riddled with people that are only concerned about what's coming to them. They're only concerned 
how someone is going to serve them, what someone is going to do for them, Lord. For we are creating marriages today. We are recreating relationships, Lord. Where we are not in covenant with those whom you have to call and decreed. Uh, for we are in love and covenant with the outer appearance. We are the love of covering, uh, and covering Lord, of the bank accounts, Lord, and money. Uh, for Lord, instead of worshiping and bowing down at those idols, Lord, we want to pray tonight that we come to our wits that we come to our senses, Lord, and put forth the things of God, the things that are God, and pray against the spirit of entitlement in the name of Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, we pray tonight for perspective. We want to pray, Lord, that our minds are always abraised and apprised of those who are looking for around the world that do not have what we have, Lord, for those that are suffering on the street corners, those that do not have food to eat, let us constantly keep our minds, amen, on these individuals, for they are also children of the most high and uh we they do not are not concerning themselves with certain things they are happy to get a drink of water day by day so lord let us not take for granted for those who everybody is not going to have large beautiful homes everyone is not going to be multi-millionaires and billionaires but we pray tonight lord and thanks for the things that you have provided us we thank you for the two fish and the five loaves tonight we thank you, Lord, for the widow's might uh, that who put the small uh, piece of money on the table, Lord. We pray and thank you for that, Lord God. We thank you for the small things that we have. Amen. For your word says that if we appreciate these small things and, and be consistent as unto the glory of God, that you will come and make us rule over many things in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you tonight, Lord, for wisdom. We want to thank you tonight as we pray for knowledge and understanding. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for, for healing us, Lord, for healing us of all of our infirmities, not just uh, for physical blindness, Lord. We thank you for healing us and restoring our spiritual sight so that we can see things in the spirit, Lord, so that we can be able to walk by the spirit and not by our own flesh, because the flesh can never be satisfied, Lord. It will always want more, no matter how much it gives and desires, it will always want more. So, but we want to thank you today, Lord, for uh, giving us a drink of water from your will of living water, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, with the bread of life today. Amen. We thank you for the spiritual meal, Lord, the spiritual connotation meal uh, that you have bestowed upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. So thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your will. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your way. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, again, for covering us uh, from all traveling on mercies, Lord, and all car accidents in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, as we close out this school year within the next couple of weeks. We, we pray, Lord, that all the people and all of their children, Lord, are kept safe. We pray that sound decisions are made for the safety and upkeep of these children. We want to pray today in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for deliverance for these children. We pray that the blood of Jesus is smeared over every doorpost, Lord, uh, so that the angel of destruction pass over, Heavenly Father, those that are covered under the blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you today for covering these school systems, Lord. We want to thank you today for covering where these small children are there. Uh, we want to thank you today for covering, Heavenly Father, uh, the church of God, Lord, all of your people around the world that congregate in assembly for your name. We want to pray protection for them, wherever they are in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let us all look to the hills from where our help comes from, Lord. Uh, so we want to thank you today. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for being the Lord, our God, uh, and beside you, Heavenly Father, beside you, Lord Jesus, there is no other. So we want to thank you, Heavenly Father. Uh, we want to thank you today as we pray for all of the pastors and bishops and apostles worldwide, Lord, that are carrying, uh, that are carrying, Lord, for those whom you have given them charge over. So we want to thank you today, Lord God, for doing that. We want to thank you today, Lord, for all of your miracle signs and wonders. For Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Amen. You are the light of the world. And we want to thank you today, Lord, with our relationship with you, Lord Jesus. For there is no relationship above your relationship, uh, as there is no other name that is above your name, the name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you today, Lord, for deliverance. We want to thank you today, Lord, for restoration. We want to thank you, Lord, for everything. For everything, Lord, that uh, the Lord says, uh, we want to say thank you, Lord, for all that we do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we want to thank you, Lord, most of all, Lord, most of all, for the things that you do in all of our lives each and every single day. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for joining us, amen, this evening for prayer. Now, before we leave, amen, I'd like to share a few uh, more scriptures with you, amen, coming from the book of wisdom and the book of Proverbs. 
Uh, this time coming from chapter 1, verses 28. Man, the call of wisdom. Yes, wisdom is calling out to us in the streets, brothers and sisters. In these times, I will begin at verse 20. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses at the beginnings, the openings of the gate in the city. She speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded because you have disdained all my counsel and have none of my rebuke. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock, amen, I will mock when your terror comes, when your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me, uh, but I will not answer. Uh, they will seek me diligently, but they will not find me because they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. They would have uh, had my counsel and despise my every rebuke. They would have none of my counsel. Therefore, they eat. They shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled uh, to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple will slay them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. Verse 33 says, but whosoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Bless his holy name today. So brothers and sisters, as we see outlined here in Proverbs and our continuation of the study thereof, we see uh, wisdom. We see wisdom here upon us. We see wisdom is calling aloud, amen, as she raises her voice in the open squares, amen. She's constantly calling to us, brothers and sisters. Uh, the Most High is constantly pouring wisdom, Lord, uh, from his mouth, Lord. For us, he's constantly showing us, amen. He's constantly showing us that we need to be of a sound mind, amen, to hear the instruction of your father and to, do, to not forsake the law, amen, of your mother. So we need to understand, brothers and sisters, that wisdom is here for us. And do not neglect it, amen. Do not leave it here on the table, amen. How long, uh, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn in my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called and you have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded it because you disdained all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke. I will also laugh at your calamity. Brothers and sisters, do not put yourself into that situation. Let us not as a nation of people continue to disregard the warnings from the Lord. Let us heed from this world, brothers and sisters. Let us heed from this life. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand and the Lord now is calling all to repentance, all every nation every faith, every denomination, every nationality of people, every race of people. Uh, we determine race differently than the most high determines race. Mankind determines race uh, based upon skin tone, based upon the outer appearance. But the Lord looks at race based upon which God do you worship? Whom do you worship? Amen. His people worship him, uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Whereas the people of this world worship other false gods, they worship idol gods, the God of money, the God of power, and uh, the gods of all of these fake things that we see people worshiping in statuses and degrees. Lord, let us not be caught up into that, brothers and sisters. Let us be in the world, uh, but let us be uh, of, amen, Jesus Christ, and of the kingdom of the Most High. Bless his holy name today. He says, because you have disdained all my counsel, and would have none of my rebuke, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes, when your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me and I will not answer. Brothers and sisters, let us not call only upon the Lord in our time of need. Let us call upon him constantly every single day of our life. Let him let us thank him constantly every day of our life for everything that he does for us. Because he says that if you don't spend any time with me, if you do not see my counsel, if you do not heed my wisdom in your 911 time and moment, do not call because do not expect me to call because do not expect me to come because you have not listened to me. You have not refrained from the things of this world that I have instructed you to refrain from. 
Uh, therefore, you will have your truth. Uh, many people today are caught up in only living their truth without understanding uh, the things that they are worshiping in this world are not responsible for giving them life. No job, no man, no woman, no nothing that you are fancying down here in this world saves your life, brothers and sisters. Uh, there's only one that can save your life, amen, and it's the one who gave you that life, the one that created you. Not even your mother and father, but it's your father in heaven, amen, the most high, who gives life, amen, and takes it. He gives us breath every day and he takes it, amen. It is him, I believe, uh, he, it is him, our heavenly father, whom we should fear. It is him whom we should love, amen, whom we should reference and reverence at all times. Not the thing of this world, uh, not Disney, not Marvel Comics, not DC Comics, not, not any of our uh, entertainment down here in this world. For those things cannot save your life. Uh, those things uh, cannot heal you. Uh, the Lord our God says he is the Lord our God, our healer. It is him who feeds us. It is him who clothes us. It is him who gave us the success that you may have in your career. It is him who blessed you with that husband. It is him who blessed you with that wife. It is him who blessed you with those children. Uh, just because you have a womb does not mean you are guaranteed to bring a child into this world. Just because you are a man, you are not guaranteed to father children into this world. It is the Lord God that provides us uh, with the substance that we need, with his Holy Spirit that brings forth the children. Uh, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Just because you have a field and 40 acres of land does not mean that land is going to be fruitful. It is only fruitful. It is only, it only brings forth fruit from the earth because of the most high. So let us return today, brothers and sisters. Let us return today from our wayward, our wayward lives. Let us return, amen, from the lives of this world, from the deceit of this world. And let us seek the truth, uh, the truth, amen, that is going to set all the captives free. Bless his holy name today. Verse 29, because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way. We shall eat the fruits of our own truths. Please we do not need to be deceived, brothers and sisters, by those going around with these false teachings of telling everyone to live the way that they want to live, uh, that there's going to be no consequences. Do your life the way you want to do it. Brothers and sisters, we must turn from our wicked ways. We must seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all of his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto us. Uh, it is he who blesses us with goals and dreams and ambitions. But he wants us to know, are we going to place those first above him? Are we going to place uh, the, the one who have given you that passion? Uh, you were just not simply born with that passion for this or for that. The most high gave you that. But he wants to know, are we going to replace the gifts over the gift giver? Are we going to worship the talent over the talent giver? Are we going to bless a man ourselves or bless the people of this world before we pay our homage and our first fruits and our prayers and supplications to the most high? Because he, a man, is the Lord our God. And beside him, Heavenly Father, there is no other. So therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the sinful will slay them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whosoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Bless his holy name today. Let us be secure today, brothers and sisters. Uh, let us not take for granted, amen, the Lord our God and the opportunity that he is offering us here for wisdom. For wisdom calls into all of us into the streets. It calls out to every single one of us. Let us uh, not leave her knocking at the door, brothers and sisters. Let us let the spirit of the Lord that what he has praying, that he is pouring over us, uh, pouring his wisdom into us. Let, it, let him continue to do it. Let us be vessels, amen, for his truth. Uh, for there is only one truth, brothers and sisters. It's like there is only one way and one life, and that is Jesus Christ. Uh, let us not be deceived uh, from the folks of this world, Heavenly Father. Before we want to thank you today for the bread of life. We want to thank you today, Heavenly Father, for intercession, Lord. We want to thank you for interceding on our behalf uh, to the Lord. We want to thank you for interceding, Lord, to the Father on our behalf. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for we know the chastisement of our peace was upon you, Lord. Through your stripes, Lord Jesus, we are healed this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we want to say thank you, Lord. We want to say thank you, Lord. We want to say thank you for healing our bodies, healing our minds, protecting us on these roads today in the name of Jesus Christ.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you again, brothers and sisters, amen, for uh, prayer this evening. Thank you for gathering, amen, and fellowship and companionship with one another. For the word of God says, where two or three or more, or two or more are gathered in his name, bless your holy name today. So we thank you for all of you, amen, for joining us tonight, amen. I am Minister John Piggins with Revelational Ministries. Amen. Please join me this Thursday evening, this Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Amen for Bible study. Bless his holy name today. Uh, all of you have a very, very blessed night.